Welcome to Uninet's series of instructional videos. In this segment, we will cover printing on pre-die cut media on the iColor 700 digital label press. Our sample roll shows that the media has been cut and the matrix has been removed. First, open the drawer to the feeder with the two black levers towards the bottom of the drawer. Open the front door and the two front guides. Our media is wider than the guides, so we must adjust it using the wheel on the side of the feeder. Rotating backwards opens the guides. Remove the spindle and place it through the media core. Once inserted, carefully place the spindle back into the channels. Next, feed the media under the copper roller and out the front of the feeder. Now, pulling from the center of the media, feed it up into the rubber and knurled metal roller. The media should come just above the rollers as shown. Use the wheel on the side to make fine adjustments. Make sure the media is flush with the edges of the guides. Then close the guides. For pre-die cut media, you must set the gutter right below the red bar. If not already lined up, bring the media up, score the paper where the cut needs to be made, cut as straight as possible, and lower the media down to line it up properly. With the guide set, close the front door and slide the drawer back into the feeder. The feeder now says require load. Do not press load now. You must calibrate for pre-die cut media first. In the edge to print software, Select your media from the media guide. In this case, we are using glossy media. With die cut mode on, we will choose the front sensor, called gap sensor in the software, and click calibrate. This window shows the values for the feeder, as well as the values from the previous run of this media. Click run calibration. On the front of the feeder, you will first see auto cal, and then cal save if the calibration was successful. Open up the feeder tray, bring the media back down to just above the rollers. Close the draw, remove the cut on the fly tray, and press load. The feeder will advance a small amount of media so it can cut a clean edge. Remove the waste, reinsert the tray, and now the printer is calibrated for pre-die cut printing. The status on the feeder should display idle. In the software, we can now load our image. Click Open File and choose the image. We already have the media width entered with the gutters and alleys of 1 8 of an inch, which is standard for pre-die cut. The amount of labels to print and the total distance. Click Print to run the job.